Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is the remnants of a flexible tap connector. This would be underneath your sink going from the water coming in from the pipework to this thing here that clips on or screws on underneath the tap. I'm doing it the wrong way around. This bit screws in underneath the tap. You can get all sorts of different connectors. And it makes it really easy to plumb it in because you don't have to bend pipes and make a rigid connection. This, uh, this came from a sink that was installed probably 15 to 20 years ago. Simple vanity unit, nothing complicated, nothing fancy, nothing cheap either, it wasn't a cheap one. And I noticed that there was a leak at it. It was leaking from here, you could see water bubbling up here and I thought there's a rubber ring in there. I thought it was something to do with that not being fitted correctly and that was leaking there. Uh, you can just about see the rubber in there. It's, it's irrelevant really because what I'm going to show you next. Uh, to scrap these out I always chop the ends off to separate the stainless steel braided hose. Uh, the hose cover from the brass and this even though that's stainless steel uh, I scrap that as brass it just goes in as brass they won't let me scrap the whole thing anymore that's the way the scrap yard I go to works and I was just looking at these because what you do is you um to get them off you have to kind of peel back and compress the stainless steel braiding and then the rubber hose just pulls out but it wasn't pulling out really easily I thought something a bit weird going on here so eventually got it all out cut this long story short and you can see it's cut into sections well It's not cut into sections. It's completely brittle. And if you've got that, and this was, bizarrely, it means water pressure, even though it was a vanity unit. If you've got that, it means water pressure. And you were to have kids in the house pulling on that or something. It's just uh, going to leak. You know, the braiding doesn't keep water in. That's just completely porous. It's just braided stainless steel wire. Crazy. So... Caveat emptor, if you've got these in the house, not caveat emptor, but uh, consumer beware, homeowner beware, if you've got these in the house, these are going to fail at some stage. And I really, I think they're really good because they make life really easy for for me as a homeowner or for plumbers because you can get something installed quite quickly. But if that's how they're going to work out, you just got to keep a sharp eye on them. At least they're really cheap and they're really easy to replace if they do go wrong. But if they go wrong in a place you're not watching and there is kids in there who are visiting or something and they pull on it or it gets a knock with a vacuum cleaner if someone's dusting off cobwebs or that, you're going to be in a pickle. And you might not find out about it straight away. Look at that. It just snaps apart. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later. Thanks for watching. See you later.